Huntsville, Alabama is an unusual place to announce a candidacy for governor of New York. So is Florida, Texas, or even North Dakota. But these are the places where the jobs are going, the ones that used to be in New York. This is where New Yorkers are moving to escape the crazy cost of living and killer property taxes. Governor Cuomo is spending tens of millions of our tax dollars on false advertising to make it sound like he's doing something. But while he's running those gimmicky Startup New York ads to boost his poll numbers, families, seniors, and businesses aren't buying it, and they're leaving the state in droves. I'm Westchester County Executive Rob Astorino, and I'm announcing my candidacy today for Governor of New York State because I'm tired of listening to the fairy tale that everything is just great when it's just the opposite. I'm tired of watching New York's decline. Living in New York shouldn't sound like a prison sentence, but that's too often what you hear today. Three more years and I'm out of here. Once the kids finish high school, we're headed south. I don't know when that started, but it has to stop. I have a simple question for New Yorkers. As a state, are we winning or are we losing today? Because if New York is winning, re-elect Andrew Cuomo. But if New York is losing, and the evidence says it is, we need to make a change. New York's number one in all the wrong things under this governor, and we're paying a price for it. We have the highest taxes in the country, the worst business climate, the most corrupt government, and the second highest electric rates anywhere. Since Andrew Cuomo has been governor, New York has lost more of its citizens than any other state. More than 400,000 New Yorkers have thrown in the towel and left for a lower cost of living or job opportunities elsewhere. You know, like so many of you, I had hoped that Governor Cuomo would lead us back onto the winning path. But after four years, it's clear he's not leading at all. It's the same old, same old out of Albany and Washington. Nothing gets fixed because the politicians are too busy fighting with one another and too afraid to stand up to the powers that be. Meanwhile, New York is dying. We needed a governor who would cut taxes and regulations. Governor Cuomo raised taxes while even adding more rules and mandates. We needed a decision on clean natural gas exploration to lower electric rates, improve air quality, create tens of thousands of new jobs and billions in new revenue. But Governor Cuomo sat on his hands for four years and refused to make a decision. We needed a governor who would act when young women were sexually assaulted in Albany. Instead, he protected a political ally who used hundreds of thousands of our tax dollars to cover up the sex crimes. Instead of leading, Governor Cuomo is dividing us by demonizing law-abiding gun owners and telling New Yorkers of faith that there's no longer a place for them here. Instead of improving education for our kids, Governor Cuomo wants to give free college tuition to criminals behind bars at our expense. You heard that right. While you and I struggle to save for our children's college education or pay off our own college loans, Governor Cuomo wants to use tax dollars to give free college tuition to prison inmates. It's outrageous and unfair. Speaking of education, Cuomo's Common Core has been a disaster for parents, teachers, and children alike. Make no mistake about it. As governor, I will get rid of Cuomo's Common Core and replace it with better standards, teaching, and testing, all set and controlled at the local level. And for you charter school parents whose classrooms are being shut down, I'll have your back. We need more charter schools in New York, not fewer. There's a lot of work to be done to turn this state around, but the good news is that we know how to do it. We just need political will, courage, and leadership. New Yorkers aren't losers. We've always been winners. There was a time when we wouldn't have settled for second place, let alone last place, which is where we are today in just about every category. We don't have to stay there. Lots of people are depending on us. You and I have no choice but to come through for them. This is my family. Sheila and I couldn't imagine New York without them. We're not going to lose them to Texas or Florida when they're older. We're going to stay here and fight to make New York a winner again, for them and for everyone. Over the next nine months, I'm going to have a conversation with every New Yorker. I'm going to ask each of you the same question. Is New York winning or is New York losing right now? I'm going to ask you for your honest answer. And then I'm going to tell you how we got Westchester back on the winning path again. 
by cutting the tax levy more than any other county in the state, how we lowered spending more than any county in the state, and how we consolidated governments and initiated bold reforms, all while working in a bipartisan way to better protect those in need. There's a reason why Westchester has the highest credit rating in New York, a higher rating than the state itself. And there's a reason why Westchester has created over 30,000 new private sector jobs in the past four years and has one of the lowest unemployment rates in the state. And there's a reason I've twice been elected by a 13-point margin in Westchester with the help of Democrats and Independents. It's because I've governed in a bipartisan and inclusive manner, and we've delivered the bold reforms, progress, and results that we promised. We can do the same for all of New York State. So please visit us at robastorino.com and sign up for notices for my campaign. You can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. I want to hear from you. Together, we'll talk about how we're going to make New York great again for all of our families. Until then, thank you. May God bless New York, our nation, and each of you.